Hi, this is Michelle at the Makerspace at the SRI and ETTC at Stockton University. Um, one of the things our elementary and middle school students like to do in their Makerspace, and high school students too, um, they like to make these paper flowers using whatever scraps of paper they've got left around. You can use um, old teacher manuals, you can use old books that the librarian has you know, pulled from the shelves, or you can use colored paper if you've got it. So basically we've just cut out this flower pattern and I'll, I'll put a link to the uh, design file in the, um, in the more section of the video. And um, one of the other tools that you need is a quilling tool, which I don't have a quilling tool and I'm certainly not gonna ask my boss to buy me one because money's tight. I do have a bamboo stick, okay? Quilling tools are like seven to ten dollars, and it's such like a it's such a little thing to think about. But like in your if you're in a classroom and you want to do this and you don't have a quilling tool, don't let it stop you. Just get a bamboo stick and you know use your scissors and make sure that there's a nice deep slit in it so that you can capture the tail of the flower. Okay, get it in there, and then you just start to roll it. Okay, so uh, before I do that, a lot of quilling tools have um, some ridges here to hold the paper. I'm just gonna use my scissors and I will make some ridges. Just using scissors. Just something to catch the paper so it doesn't slide down a little bit. Okay, so Again, not complicated. So I'm just gonna get the edge in there. I've been using this one for a while, so it's kind of beat up. So it's easier if you start with a fresh one. But um, these are just teriyaki sticks from the supermarket. And like a bag of those is like a buck. We use them for everything in a maker space. So now I'm just gonna roll and I'm gonna do this quickly. Just keeping it together. Rolling, 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 rolling around the flower. Like I said, this is not a long-term commitment. Just rolling, rolling, rolling. As you can see, it's starting to slide down a little, and those ridges like help keep the paper on there. So I'm just rolling until I get to the end. And then as it gets more towards the end, I can just, you know, wrap it around myself if it ceases to roll. And you have the same problem with a quilling tool. So like towards the end, it gets a little wonky to hold. Okay, this is what's actually going to hold it together, this tab. So I'm just going to kind of let it push off the end of the thing, the end of the quilling tool. And I'm going to let it kind of like open up a little, kind of let it spin out a little. Okay, and um, what people also do with the quilling tool is they can go and they can take, you know, the nice round edge and you know, roll their their petals against it. And you could do the same thing with a bamboo stick, okay? So just like let it spin out to like the degree that you want it to. And then all you have to do is glue it together. So um, here, I'm gonna glue it right. I'm gonna find that edge. I'm just gonna glue this piece to this so that it stops moving on me. Let me get my glue gun. Ooh, that's hot. A little, little dab of glue. Just to keep it, keep it there. And then underneath, I'm gonna put glue on this piece and then cover it with the flap. Okay? One second. So we've just let the paper relax a little. 
which is useful so that we can get it exactly where we want it okay some people like it tighter because it's easier to glue it so like if you find like it's not tight enough you can you know just take your cooling tool like if you've let it spin out too much you can you can take your cooling tool and go back in and give it a, a, a little spin just to bring it in okay I'm just gonna apply glue here in all the places where I can hide it and then top it with that little piece okay. I'm just gonna hold it in place until it dries, which is only a second or two. And then I've got my flower. No expensive cooling tool necessary. Thank you.